Amir Gang. Girl, no gang. You, you are lame. You can't hang. What is good, YouTube? It's your boys, Amir. Welcome back to another video, y'all boys, man. Hey, as y'all can see by the title, man, I'm about to show y'all boys, about to break down for y'all boys the best playmaking badges in NBA 2K21 next gen, man. I'm going to show y'all the best ones, man. Ones that you pretty much need on every build. Um, the worst ones, ones that almost like nobody need, nobody use, bro. Uh, I'm going to show you the best ones for guards and the best ones for centers, bro. So, right, look, bro. I ain't about to waste y'all boys time. Let's get straight into it, bro. So, look. These are all the playmaking badges right here that you can get for any build on next gen, bro. Right here. All of them. So, I'm just about to show y'all the best ones real quick. So, boom. Uh, the first one, bro. Ones that you almost need for every build. You know what I'm saying? Bailout, my my boy. Like, I've been a big fan of Bailout off rip from like day one since they put it in the game. If you don't have Bailout on, at least on bronze, bro. When you try to make that pass when you're going up for where there be a layup or a shot, bro, and somebody close out and you didn't expect them to, and then you try to pass to your homie, that be going out of bounds, bro. On game, like if you don't have this at least on bronze, bro. You just put it on bronze, bro, and you can pass from almost half court if you're coming out of a shot, bro. So, really, you only need bell out on bronze, bro. You're only sacrificing one. It's a must-need, bro. Another must-have badge for a, 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 a playmaking badge, bro. Must-have, unpluckable, bro. Off-rip, bro. The, the steal success is already bad. Like, you get plucked, bro. Like, just dribbling. Niggas be having... Well, we got like 86 ball handle with Hall of Fame unpluckable. Still get plucked, bro. You got to have unpluckable at least on bronze, bro. No cap. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can put it on silver. You know what I'm saying? But you want to put this as high as possible if you have them to spare. But just know that at Hall of Fame, you will still get plucked, bro. Off rip. You know what I'm saying? So you might as well just put it on bronze to unlock some of the unpluckable animations. <laughs> I ain't going to get it. All right. So look, another must have. For a, a, a ball handler, handles for days, bro. You got to preserve your stamina um, so you can finish at the rim or take that shot, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, handles for days, I will put it as, as high, you know what I'm saying? Gold is comfortable for me so I because I do dribbling, but I don't do the, that much where I need a Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? I can even go silver. You know what I'm saying? I just do enough to create a play or get my teammate, get my teammate open or get myself open. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I would definitely have handles for days, silver or gold. Um, another must have, you know what I'm saying? Quick first step is going to get you open, bro. I would say quick first step must have, you know what I'm saying? Of course, as high as possible, the faster you will get open off that triple step. Boom, you gone, you know what I'm saying? That's an easy blow by. And then once you get that, it's an instant contact, you know what I'm saying? But I would say pretty much for must haves, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it for a must have, bro. These four are it for the playmaking and i would say ones that are going to be the the least the the least used this year bro i would say break starter bro you don't need break starter for all my bigs out there you do not need break starter bro i can make a full court pass i ain't gonna lie if you got like a 25 pass accuracy you may need to get this on bronze you know what i'm saying this used, this used to be a great badge on bronze you can make full court passes on bronze um, so if you're getting those out of bounds animations, if you got a 25 uh, pass accuracy, you're trying to you're holding A in the rec, or you're doing R B L B, you know what I'm saying, trying to get the ball down the court and rec, you know what I'm saying, you're getting out of bounds animations, put it on bronze, bro. It's gonna work for you, you know what I'm saying. But if you're if you're not getting them with it off, leave it off, bro. Save a point. Um, but other than that, I would say useless for a guard. Uh, useless. I mean, who's really going to use relay pass or a shot boost is given to the player receiving the pass after you pass a pass to assist, a pass to assist boost. I mean, if you're in the red and you got a nice group of guys, y'all know what y'all doing. It can be, but come on, bro. Who's really going to, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I probably, I probably say that's pretty much it for ones that nobody's going to use. The rest of these can be useful. Um, now the best ones for guards, bro. of course, ankle breaker, y'all know ankle breaker you could definitely break people this year i like the animations this year um they look really nice so ankle breaker the higher you have it the more likely you're gonna break people bell out once again a great one on bronze break starter you don't need it for a guard um bullet passer is a great badge bro 
It's like a bronze badge. You're gonna get it there, bro. Like the higher you have it, you're gonna throw them bullets. No cap. That shit is fire, bro. Um, Dimer, of course, Dimer still in the game. Uh, it's gonna boost the shot percentage on jump shots. Dimer is only for jump shots, just so y'all know. Um, and I heard some people say that it speeds up their jumper. Um, I'm not really sure about that. I don't really know about. I'm not really sure if that's true. I mean. Um, but that's what I heard, but y'all could take that if you want it. I don't really use Dimer personally myself. Um, I feel like my, my teammates should hit a shot, bro. Like, hit your shots by yourself. Um, downhill can be a very good badge. It's gonna make, uh, like, you know what I'm saying, like, make you faster, but I don't use it because it's really just like an extra. You know what I'm saying? My player's already fast. I got like a damn near a 90 speed on a 6.7, so I'm moving, bro. I don't, I mean, of course, it's just a boost, bro. It's really just like a boost badge, and I only have 20 playmaking. I can't really spare, spare like that. You know what I'm saying? Floor general, of course, you're going to get that plus one on bronze, that plus two on silver. You know what I'm saying? It go up and up. You know what I'm saying? So that's just going to boost your, your teammates' offensive abilities. Once again, just a boost to your teammates. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm stingy, bro. Like, I'm not sacrificing my badges so you can hit your shots bro hit your shots bro once again handles for days you needed to dribble let me get a sip because i got kai mouth but look needle threader uh so boom needle threader can be good um I don't use it personally because I practice not throwing Stevie's at all, bro. I don't like not even a risk of them getting that. Those are the type of passes that I throw. Um, if I can't pass the ball, if they're playing, they're really pressing my teammate. I'm just gonna kill. I'm gonna get a bucket, like you know what I'm saying. So I don't use needle throw personally, but of course you can use it. It's probably a very good badge. Quick first step. Once again, you need it um, for my guards, man. It's gonna help you get open. Um, relay passer. Once again, who's really gonna use that, bro? Pass to assist badge. Space Crater, for all of you who do that, that step back, you do a lot of step back animations and stuff like that, bro. For my shot craters especially, it's a very good badge, man. You're going to create a lot of space, bro. And you can even get, like, some ankle breaker animations, I believe, out of this. Special Delivery, bro. Special Delivery. What a badge, bro. Probably one of the best and most overpowered badges that they put in next gen for 2K21, bro one single pass from this badge to a receiver who has hot shot hall of fame and you can get team takeover in one pass in one shot in the rec or the park bro no cap i do it all the time it's super op literally one pass in one shot and everybody going crazy takes everything we pulling lock tape slash and tape sharp tape like it's op bro this is a, a great badge right here man all you got to do is make one fancy pass right here so if you can afford it bro if you have a lot of playmaking badges bro i would put this hall of fame and then coordinate with my teammates have them have hot shot hall of fame and then try to get a flashy pass off rip in the game bro one shot team take it's going crazy bro off rip stop and go bro you know what i'm saying it's gonna improve your ability to start and stop with the ball and lock in a uh, stop and start animations and stuff like that. I don't use it personally, bro, because I feel like uh, it's pretty easy to get blow bys this year, bro. You don't really, I don't really need this. Like once again, it's just a little extra boost. Um, but you know what I'm saying? If you have the extra, if you have like 30 something, you can always just throw this on something, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I don't use it personally, but it can be a very good badge, of course. Um, tight handles, I do use, bro. It improves the ability to break down their defender. And I noticed something, bro. Tight handles makes your momentum faster bro up on the right stick because uh i know <laughs> i don't know if y'all noticed but it used to be super slow bro i don't know if y'all just sped up but mine has as soon as i put tight handles on i had i put it on uh hall of fame it was super fast but i had to take it off because look do not put tight handles on hall of fame if you're in the park bro. you're going to do park dribble moves keep it on gold if you're in the park if you're in the wreck you can go to hall of fame but i keep mine on gold so i can uh, keep like the same speed and have the same dribble animations to get used to them and stuff like that, bro. But tight handles, very good badge, bro. Um, basically increases a player's ball handling ability and size up situation, makes it easier to break down the on-ball defender. It basically stuns your defender, bro. Like it puts them literally in an animation. It's a great badge, bro. Combined with ankle breaker, it's going crazy. And once again, unpluckable, bro. You want to have this as high as you can bro you want to have unpluckable as high as you can but just know that on hall of fame 
you will still get plucked chickens, bro. No cap. So you might as well drop it down to bronze. I leave mine on bronze, but I find that silver may be a little bit better than bronze. So I've been rocking silver for a little while, man. And those are basically the best right there for guards, bro. Now for bigs, uh, bigs once again. Uh, let me see, bro. Bigs, you want to keep Bell out just in case. You know what I'm saying? You take a contested lay or a shot. You need to throw it to your guard. Break starter once again. You know what I'm saying? If you find that you're throwing the ball on on uh, full court passes out of bounds with this off, try it on bronze. It should work for you. Um, bullet passer, you can. You know what I'm saying? If you can unlock it, bullet passer is a great badge once again. You know what I'm saying? For a big. And once again, all of these are really... These are really guard badges right here. Unpluckable, you want to try to get it on a big if you can. But tight handle, stop and go guard badge. Special delivery, if you can, as a big, like a like some seven footers that are going crazy, like demigod seven footers, I'm tripping, bro. You can get this Hall of Fame special and then flash it to your guard and he'll fade. And that's an instant, you know what I'm saying? So special, of course, for a big. Unpluckable. Uh, I'm, I don't think you can get tight handles for a big or stop and go or space grader relay passer Come on, bro For a quick first step if you can, you know, what I'm saying handles for days You know, what I'm saying basically pretty much the rest apply for the same for guard But these are pretty much the main for a big right here, bro You know, what I'm saying special, you know, what I'm saying really the main focus right there and uh Yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man You know, what I'm saying I just broke down the best best playmaking badges you now I'm saying the ones that I think it's probably really not gonna use that much the best ones for the guards and the best ones for the centers man i hope y'all enjoyed this video man if you did smash that like button for your boy man it really helps out the channel it helps me grow and if you're new man if this is your first time watching one of my videos man hit that subscribe button and join mirror game man we're going crazy all 2k21 long man 2021 long no cap got a lot of lit content coming for y'all boys man stay locked in but yeah man that's pretty much it for this video man thank y'all boys for watching it's your boys i'm here and I'm out, bro. Game.